So before either uh, removing this operating housing for any type of uh, repair work in there, um, you're going to want to check your clutch pressures on your PTO clutch um, and on your main clutch, which is your operating system pressure, to see where they're at. If you don't know what your pressures are, you're really going into these situations blind without really much of an idea of what's really wrong. So um, you're going to need at least a gauge that will at least go to 160, but you're going to want something that you can read pretty accurately between 100 to 200. Um, this is kind of a homemade deal, but I I wish I knew what size fitting this was. It's an O-ring face fitting. Maybe it's around a number four, um, but that's what you're going to need is something that will fit in these uh, PTO clutch ports and the, the clutch port here, and maybe even the PTO brake. So we'll, uh, we'll take out one of these and see what our readings are. You're going to want to do this with hot oil. best way to do that is to either go use the tractor or to install a... Uh, a loop hose back here on the remote and let it run with that engaged so it'll circulate the oil. So you want this oil good and hot. Um, before we get started, this kind of pertains to the 4630, 44, 4, or 4430 tractors. They're very similar, but their pressures are different. <clears throat> so on the the clutch pressure, which is system pressure, okay. On the 4630, you're going to have your target pressure is 135 to 145 pounds. That is the same on the PTO clutch. Similar pressures, okay? That's what you're looking for. Now on the 4430, your system pressure is going to be here on the clutch. Uh, 170 to 180 PSI and also very similar on the PTO clutch. There, I think their specs are 175 to 185 PSI. So, you know, a good 30 to 40 pounds more than the 4630. Uh, I, and I also think the PTO brake pressures, and I don't know this for a fact, but they're gonna be similar when the PTO brake is engaged. They should also be what, what it is on the engagement side. So, um, we need to know what these pressures are. What we're basically looking for is if our system pressure is good on the clutch, okay, say we on this 46, uh, we've got 140 PSI. We're good there, right? So go over here to the PTO clutch and we test this. And if this tests low, you know, 110, 120, uh, 125 in there, we're, we're on the low side, okay? We're, we're bleeding off pressure someplace. And on a tractor this old, more than likely, that place is the PTO seals inside the transmission. They're probably cracked and they're probably leaking off, leaking off oil. Only way to do that is to go in and take care of the problem. So now, if your PTO clutch is your PTO clutch is reading okay, or it's reading similar to the to the system pressure here, what and it won't stay engaged if your lever won't stay up in the cab. Uh, probably what's wrong is uh, it broke off the arm inside the valve body of this housing which you'll need to remove this housing and take care of that broken arm more than likely now also if the PTO lever will not stay up engaged uh, low system pressure or low low clutch pressure will also do that okay that arm braking is, is a lot of the problems on these because that is kind of an issue with these older tractors, but if the PTO clutch pressure is too low, it will not have enough pressure to engage that arm inside and hold the lever engaged on your PTO. So again, that's why it's important to check this PTO clutch pressure, check your system pressure, and if your system pressure is low, we can shim the the R port by taking this nut off, putting washers under the spring that's in here, and you know doing it one or two at a time, and see if your system pressure comes up. Uh, if you suspect that you've got a transmission pump that is not doing well or you're starving for oil, I would suggest go back here and pull out that uh, sump uh, that or that drain plug for the transmission and pull out that screen, you're going to have about 17 gallons of oil, so be prepared to catch it, but once you've drained it, 
pull out that screen and check it for brake material and make sure your system hasn't been contaminated by a brake failure. Um, if that happens, sometimes the, the transmission pump can get so weak it can't even achieve the pressures that it needs to achieve. But if you can shim this up, get your system pressure where it needs to be, then come back, check your PTO clutch, see if it's where it needs to be, and you can make an assessment from that point whether or not you need to go in and uh, check on that arm. So we'll check a couple pressures here. Since we've just had this apart, I'm curious to see if the pressures are still where they need to be. So we'll do that and see where we are. Okay, so we're gonna crank this up. See what our clutch pressure is. 100 and just a hair under 130 PSI at idle. Now, that rated spec is for 2,000 RPM, so let's take it out. tempted to leave this honestly um, because I mean I've warmed the oil up but it's not a hot day and that oil could be could be thinner than it is I think I'm gonna probably leave this where it is it's it's just on the high side of spec but we're gonna go with it and I'm gonna check the PTO pressure here okay we're cranked up here again pressure's zero on the PTO clutch I'm gonna engage that see where we're at so at idle we're 125 psi Crank up our RPM. wide open it's making 150 psi and I don't feel like on a tractor like this one that sees lots of hard PTO use and again it's not a real hot day the oil's warm but not scorching hot like we're running equipment a little bit on the high side I can live with um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone um, But uh, so if we did need to, to make a change here, you you can't shim up the PTO pressure to my knowledge, because basically the PTO pressure should be almost the same as your system pressure, maybe a little more. But if we had to bring up, again, bring up the system pressure, a guy could start here on this regulating uh, valve and shim it up with some washers. Deer has washers but I've used just flat washers. Uh, just go a little at a time and see what happens, but uh, some of these old tractors might need shimmed up quite a bit, uh, especially the springs get weak over 40 years and a person can kind of expect to shim them more than, than average. And you can always change the springs. Uh, that'd be another option, so. That's a little peek into the, into the workings of the simplistic design of these tractors. Just right there, we can easily troubleshoot what was you know, possibly wrong with the PTO. Again, if this pressure had been low on the PTO clutch, but good on the clutch side, we know that regardless of if that lever inside's broken that holds it engaged, if this is low pressure, we know we have an internal problem in the transmission leaking off oil. And like I said, I'm not an expert on these, but I know enough to, to talk to some people that know more than I do, and this is what I've picked up from them and just passing it down the line. So thanks for watching.